In this video, we're going to see peak inverse voltage for half wave rectifier, which in short form is called a PIV. To start with, let me take the half wave rectifier circuit diagram. In fact, we have seen this figure enough times so far. Now the intention here is the peak inverse voltage is the voltage that we are trying to find across the diode. Now the diode voltage reference as usual is positive on this side and negative on this side. Let's say this is VD, the voltage across the diode. Let me take the input voltage graph here and correspondingly the current that flows. The current would flow in the first half of the cycle and second half of the cycle it would be zero which means only in the positive half cycles the current would be flowing because the diode is conducting. When the diode is conducting the voltage across the diode would be very small. Let me assume the diode is ideal where the voltage across the diode would be zero and if we consider RF there would be some voltage drop across the diode. We are not seeing that here. Now when it comes to the second half cycle which is the negative half cycle during which the diode is in reverse bias where the diode is open circuited. In that case the circuit diagram the diode would be open circuited and let's say the diode voltage is VD here and RL. Now the voltage across the diode would be equal to the voltage at the secondary winding VI. So let me write that VD is equal to VI when alpha is in between pi and 2 pi where this voltage would be zero in the first half cycle. So second half cycle, let me represent that waveform here, that the entire input voltage would get applied across the diode. And when we come to the next half cycle, which is positive, the voltage, let's say, is zero across the diode. Now, if you observe here, the maximum voltage that gets applied across the diode when the diode is in reverse bias is Vm which means the diode voltage VD is equal to minus VM. As the voltage is negative and the diode is reverse biased, one thing that we have to notice, when we reach to this maximum voltage, the diode should not break down, which means this is the maximum voltage that gets applied across the diode. When we consider reverse voltage, then we can say the reverse voltage, reverse, in fact, or inverse, voltage that gets applied across the diode is Vm. As we are already saying it is reverse, hence we are not taking the minus sign or inverse, which means the maximum voltage that gets applied across the diode in reverse bias is Vm. So this voltage is called the peak inverse voltage. Now why is peak inverse voltage important? That is because now the diode that we choose should be able to withstand this maximum reverse bias voltage without getting breakdown. So which means the PN junction diodes that we choose should have a breakdown voltage greater than Vm. So when we are trying to pick the PN junction diodes for designing the rectifiers, we have to make sure their breakdown voltages are greater than the peak inverse voltage we would see in the rectifier circuit.